Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amanda. So today we're gonna talk about tips for Mac users like the one you're looking at on the screen. This is a retro flip clock screensaver and anytime I show it, I'm asked about it, even though I've done a full video, so many of you still haven't seen it, along with some other things like you can copy and paste from your iPhone to your Mac or your Mac to your iPhone. And some people still don't know that and aren't using these simple little tips that will definitely make your experience better. And even some things like my desktop looks pristine. There's nothing on it, but in reality, there's all kinds of things on it. With one click, you can hide everything and make it look like new. The first thing we're gonna talk about is protecting your Mac. Now, many people think because you own a Mac, you absolutely can't get any type of viruses. And unfortunately, that's not true. Nowadays, everything we have is connected and your smart TVs can get viruses or phishing attacks, or they can get hacked along with your phones, your cameras, all kinds of things can be done to them negatively that you definitely don't wanna have to deal with. And today's video is sponsored by Webroot. And I'm not one that usually uses any type of software on my Macs because all the ones I've used in the past were full of pop-ups and they slowed my computer down and they were super annoying. And I checked this out before I even agreed to do this video and found out that this does not do any of those things. It's very light on your resources and it's not gonna slow your computer down. And in fact, I downloaded this, installed it, set it all up, and it is quietly running in the background, and I have never even noticed that it's there. So if you guys would like to pick it up, you can get a plan all the way from $29.99 a year for one device, up to $59.99 a year for five devices, along with some extras. There'll be a link down below where you guys can check them out. The next tip is whenever you have a screen that doesn't either expand all the way when it opens up like a new app or something, or maybe you've moved your screen around trying to look at something on your desktop, and instead of having to fiddle with dragging it around and trying to line it up just right, you can actually double tap with your cursor over on this top left corner and it'll expand it out, but it won't be in full screen mode, so it's not really locked in there, but it just expands it out and fills up your page. On to tip number three is the Retro Flip Clock Screensaver. Now, I'm gonna have a link down below to their website where you can go and click and download this. And it's free and it's super easy, but please pay attention because the website does have ads and I think it confused some people. So don't click on any of the ads, just click on where I show you to click. Because when we first go to the website, if you look down here at the bottom right, it says start now, start download, don't click there. Go up to the top right and there's the little hamburger menu there. Click on that and you will see for Windows or Mac or you have for iOS. I think iOS maybe you pay for, but this first line that says start download, don't click there, that's an ad. And don't click this one down here with a big green arrow that says download. Click at the very bottom down here where it says download for Mac in blue if you have Mac or download for Windows if you have Windows, very simple. Once you click install and go through all the little steps, it's automatically going to be in your screensavers folder. And here you can see, you can change some adjustments. You can adjust the size depending on how large or small you want it or make it 12 or 24 hour time clock. All right, next tip. If you want to copy something, say you're looking at something on your phone, but you wanna go ahead and use it on your computer, just go ahead and select it and copy it like you normally would. Then head over to your Mac and you can hit Command V to paste and it'll automatically paste what you just copied over on your phone. Okay, next one is for your emoji game. If you want to access emojis, just hit Command, Control, and the space bar, and it'll pop up this emoji selector. Then you can flip through and pick your favorite emoji, and you're not feeling like you're missing out without that magic touch bar that everyone uses to select their emojis. All right, the status bar up here can get really filled up with stuff, but many of you may or may not know that it is customizable. Just click and drag on any of these, and some of you can see it won't let me release. It gives you a big like error sign, but some of these with an X, you can drag and drop them down there, and that'll take them out of there and just remove them, or you can just grab things and rearrange them and set it up like you would like it and customize it and make it your own. To unlock my Mac, I have it set up where my watch automatically is detected and I'll unlock it, or I can use my fingerprint with one finger to unlock it. But did you know you can also quickly lock your Mac? Just by hitting Command and Q, it'll lock it immediately. Some of you may have heard of an app called Flux. You can download it to your Mac, and it used to even be a huge add-on for people who were jailbreakers, 
But what it does is it takes your screen and turns it from a bright, bright blue light at nighttime to a warmer tone. So you can adjust the brightness up and down all you want, but that's not still gonna cut out that blue light. It's still gonna be harmful and harsh on your eyes. So now you can go into settings, displays, and it's built right in in night shift. There's a schedule here. You can customize it and set it to certain times, sunset to sunrise, or if you want to in the daytime for some reason, you can just manually turn it on. And there's even a color temperature adjustment. So maybe you're in a certain settings or certain light, or maybe just your eyes are super sensitive. You can adjust it to exactly where you need it. The next tip is about all the apps you have open. And maybe normally you would go down here and scroll through your dock. Well, quickly you can hold the command button and either hit tab or you can even arrow over and you can select an app from there to launch it. Or if you'd like to close it, as long as you're still holding command, you can hit Q and it'll close them all down except for Finder. The last tip I have for you guys is about taking a quick note. So here I'm on a website with some recipes and I'm gonna scoot this over so you can see everything. But if I want to make, say, a list for the grocery store and I don't want to have to open up a bunch of things, just highlight and drag the text you want and drop it onto your desktop and automatically it's going to create a new document for you right there with all the stuff that you needed to quickly access it. Okay guys, well that wraps it up for today's video. Leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite tip. Maybe I will share it in my next video or let me know which one of these was your favorite. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.